Movie makers, sci-fi writers have depicted <laughs> flying cars, think the Jetsons, in a future that has yet to arrive. Until now, for the past nine years, developers have been working quietly on the project in a secret Silicon Valley location. Top secret, but CBS News senior West Coast correspondent John Blackstone, you've covered almost every Silicon Valley innovation, and every one this of them. is the latest and greatest. Every one of them. And you know, we know that Uber and Google and some number of other companies are working on plans for prototypes of flying cars. But still, I was skeptical when I got the invitation to go to an unmarked building in Palo Alto to see a flying vehicle that could be on sale by next year. Marcus Ling calls his invention a personal aviation vehicle, an electric aircraft so easy to fly, he says, you need little training and no pilot's license. When you press the thumbstick to climb with this, you have absolute full control. Ling gave CBS This Morning an exclusive tour of the secret Silicon Valley facility where the craft he calls Black Fly is being built. His breakthrough invention... What we're going to do is we're just going to run... ...is a small but extremely powerful electric motor. This can produce 130... Lang claims the eight-motor, single-seat aircraft has actually flown thousands of miles in test flights controlled from the ground before they ever put people in the cockpit. We first flew 10,000 miles. We did 1,000-plus uh, flights. All autonomous. Autonomous, okay. and uh, we had a payload of 200 pounds. So what are the safety features? Have? First of all, you have to start off with the technology and some magic buttons like a return-to-home button for people who fly for the first time. For decades, flying cars have been part of a future that has never quite arrived. So this was the commuter. This would have been the helicopter in everybody's garage. The Hiller Aviation Museum in Silicon Valley displays several flying cars that just didn't get off the ground. The technology wasn't there because they didn't have the computers. And now the computers can actually manipulate the controls. Now, companies around the world are developing flying cars. Google co-founder Larry Page is supporting two flying car projects. Uber is working on flying taxis. Marcus Lang wants Blackfly to be on sale next year, so anyone can buy it. What are we talking? Price of a luxury Mercedes? The price of an SUV. Price of an SUV. How long will it take to learn to fly one of these? You know, in the simulator, in five minutes. Alan Eustace, former vice president of knowledge at Google, is on Blackfly's board of directors and knows about flight. He was carried by balloon into the stratosphere, then parachuted nearly 136,000 feet, breaking a world altitude record in 2014. He's almost as excited about Blackfly. And I've noticed in my career that things go from impossible to inevitable in a very short period of time. It's no longer technology standing in the way, he says, but rather regulations governing flight. There's regulatory issues to deal with, but, you know, in theory right now, you could take this vehicle, you could put it out here, you could fly it to San Francisco, and you could be there in, you know, eight minutes. Under current federal regulations, Blackfly is classified as an ultralight aircraft, meaning it can't fly at night or over urban areas. It can travel just 25 miles on its electric batteries. But the joy of flight... That was great. <laughs> ...seems unlimited. They're just incredibly fun to fly. Instant gratification. Wow! <laughs> For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Palo Alto, California. And the company behind this is called Opener, and just in the last hour or so, Opener revealed that its major investor is none other than Larry Page, co-founder of Google. I was saying to you, it looks like it looks like a giant drone, but everybody yeah. I know who's owned a drone has crashed it. So the thing with this, safety, safety, safety. Safety, and a lot of the features that are, that are in this are like those that are in self-driving cars uh -huh. to help you do things without having to control it. That's one of the magical parts about it. No Ooh. pilot's license, no real training. No. A joystick. Wow. And off you go. Mm -hmm. Away you go. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be the first on the block. <laughs> <laughs> I might be if I can afford it. Right? Give it a try. Okay. SUV. <laughs> a SUV. Expensive SUV. <laughs> Thank you, John. Appreciate it. So